Okay, it's uh, Roland from East Marsh Acres, and it's uh, Thanksgiving Tuesday, and, or sorry, Monday, Thanksgiving Monday, and uh, I'm out here finishing off the perimeter that I was working on the last time. So if you follow the yellow cord, that's where the fence will go. We'll set it up in there. The chicken shop would be somewhere in this area or so. Um, and as I said on the previous video, what we'll do is set up the orange fence up in this area again. So we're taking advantage of the cleared area up until about there, probably. We'll make it long and skinny uh, so that we can deal with the, the grass, grasses in here. That'll probably be close to, if not, the final uh, paddock that we'll use for the year. And we'll put the fences away and put the chickens in there. But the chickens, uh, but the uh, hoop house at this point is not ready for chickens because it's still got tomato vines and peppers that are still growing. And uh, so what I'll do in the meantime, if I still have enough energy, is clear this pathway, which has needed to be done for a while now, but uh, I haven't been able to do it because other things made uh, became priorities. Anyway, so I'll, I'll be working on this and see what I can get done. Um, maybe I can set it up in such a way that you can check out a little bit of what I'm doing because it's almost impossible. to uh, hold on while I'm working with the scythe. Okay, that gets the longest stuff. Now I'm going to lay out the chicken vents so that we can prop it up and move the chickens over uh, as soon as we can. Okay, perimeter of the paddock is set up. Patricia's being the Pied Piper of chickens. So she's using Graptera. So these are dried worms. And the chickens love them. We're We've missing one. Somewhat trained them. Well, we're missing one Ruby on there. Is there still one in there? There's one behind, yes. Yeah, over there. Go, go, get her. No, you, let me. You draw her forward. Chicken wrangling. 101. Or what not to do. Okay, go this way. Come on. Come on.
Come on, chicken. Can you keep her away from the coop? Drive her that way. There we go. Okay, that's how not to do it. <laughs> well, that one always gives we got twelve. Problem. problem. Something that we noticed about uh, chickens early on is that they are very, very curious animals. They uh, are, are always attracted to movement, particularly if it's around their paddock. And maybe that's because, partially because uh, they've been in this particular paddock the last three weeks and they might be bored out of their skulls which is very possible um, take a look at their behaviors now they're exploring sure they're looking for worms but they're also uh, starting to to scratch at the dirt and uh, they'll go after the grass and other greenery and look for worms and snails and other insects etc not that snails and worms are insects but I think you understand what I'm saying um, anyways, their behavior uh, with with the jerky movement, uh, so that's the twitch muscle that they actually have, um, and uh, uh, them always wanting to go after uh, food, um, and, and just their behaviors in general, indicating that they're very much uh, carnivorous, uh, omnivorous actually, they'll eat plant and animal materials. And uh, they, they act very much like, um, and th this is coming from the movie uh, Tr Tr Jurassic Park, uh, where the comparison is made to, uh, between uh, birds and uh, dinosaurs. Um, I, I can see it. I mean, considering that the, uh, some of the dinosaurs ended up with modified scales that looked very much like uh, feathers. And the scales on the uh, bird's legs are still very much uh, reptilian in nature. Well, they they sort of have that kind of. Um, I don't I don't want to give the characteristic that they're they are reptilian. Uh, they're not, but they look like it. Uh, look like reptilian scales uh, to to um, an uneducated eye. I have a, an undergrad degree in marine biology, so I'm not a uh, ornithologist by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, just taking a look at uh, chicken behavior, uh, seeing what they do, uh, the kinds of uh, things that they get up to, um, makes sense to me. Anyways, we are going to be moving the chicken chaw and the rest of the paraphernalia and uh, see how we get on.
I don't know about you guys, but I need a coffee, coffee. and lunch. Yes. You want to say a few concluding words? About? What did you say already? <laughs> a whole bunch of things. Have you got it running already? Yep. <laughs> okay. Hi, it's Trisha. Anyways, we're finished our moving the chickens today. And it looks like they're happy. They've got water, food. Uh, fixed up the awning. I tried to use um, um, pool noodle to put around the um, handle. handle there. So hopefully it holds it down because the straps keep breaking off. And uh, so we'll see how that works. It's a smaller paddock this time, so it'll probably be a week. But Roland's already getting the next one somewhat ready. You haven't cut any grass yet, so it'll be a bit yet. But, yeah. So anyways, um, maybe later today we'll do a few things yet in the garden or well, I get want to the do path the going. Bed. The path is, is uh, cut. So that's uh, that's our morning. We're off to lunch and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.